Want to help support the channel? Then why not check out the merch that's available from the links below in the description. Help out the channel and get more phenomenal stuff for yourself. And now with that, let's jump straight into the video. Hey Ranger Nation, welcome back to another video. Apparently everyone loved the aerial mug. Here is Cinderella. Anyway, welcome back to another video. And today we're gonna to be talking about what if Hasbro produced Power Rangers like Super Sentai. So if you like this sort of content and you wanna help support the mugs, then uh, hit the like button, hit subscribe as well as that cheeky notification bell. Why not check out the merchandise all on the channel as well? So yeah, let's just jump straight into this topic. Back in the day, we were gifted with Power Rangers that had a lot more episodes than they do now. Like we would have multiple episodes, but that's literally where it stuck. There wasn't anything that really kind of made it stand out. And you know, as much as you could argue, really the only things that we got were either like kind of okay toy adverts or literally just TV episodes where Super Sentai produces a lot more. It produces movies, it produces episodes, adverts, kind of more commercial, like, you know, proper mini episodes when it comes to some of their toys just to show it off and, and stuff like that. And I feel that this is something that Power Rangers has really missed the mark on multiple times. Super Sentai literally always promotes their show a lot more than I see Power Rangers. And I think that's mainly down, uh, well, due to uh, Nickelodeon as well as Saban at the time, not really caring, just literally sticking it on and hoping that you'd come back at like 8 a.m. in the morning just to watch Power Rangers when technically you'd really want to be in bed or they put it on at like a really random time that nobody really watches. Thus therefore the low ratings and thus therefore why no one really cares about Power Rangers that much outside the fandom. So what happens if Power Rangers actually did something really decent? You know, actually put a lot more effort into promotion as well as their adverts, as well as like anything that they do. So yeah, what happens? What if, what would they do? What would they do, Cinderella? What would they do? We're gonna go through each step as what Super Sentai does, but with the, with the Power Rangers twist. It comes halfway through the second season of Power Rangers and li literally Hasbro turns around and files trademark. For the episode, we're gonna call this uh, Power Rangers Beast Fury. Huh? Yeah, I couldn't really think of a really cool name. So Beast Fury is the name and Hasbro actually files copyright for that entire whole series and that goes through. And this therefore it starts to go through the YouTube network where all us creators start talking about it and kind of giving us giving thoughts on the name. As this is going on, the people behind the scenes are now working out designs for what the series costumes are going to be like, what the storyline is, and it slowly goes into the next production because that's what they normally do. So costumes, props, everything gets really looked into and they start designing them and then sending them down, down to the kind of lovely prop warehouse where the prop masters are able to start building everything, sculpting, getting everything ready for the get-go. The graphics would be made as well from the graphics department. Um, everything starts going to print for the magazines where we start seeing silhouettes, but at least we get the name and the logo that gets put out. Link a few bad images as well, because to be fair, that's what we all like, you know, start that speculation, you know, have the outline of the Ranger ready, but just kind of like not give enough information and do this over the, the course of a few months or something like that, or a few weeks where people will start to kind of take note and you get the hype being built. Next would be actually getting the cast involved. You know, you've cast it, send out that the people are doing it, you know, tell people say, hey, these are the actors that are going to be playing the next Rangers in the series and kind of have the names pop out there because that's when people will start paying attention, going to their social medias rather than hide it and be like, oh, we're not going to tell you till like literally a week before, like we normally kind of see or a little bit beforehand. So get those names out there, get a press conference, hold it on the Hasbro YouTube um, channel or, you know, in a big thing that they normally do and actually start showing this off, put a little bit of backstory, get the actors talking about it, saying what they love about the series, what they think about their character, how it all kind of goes down and throw it out there. That's how I would start doing this. Show the gimmicks of what you're gonna have. Is it gonna be keys? Is it gonna be gears? Is it gonna be ticket stamps? Is it gonna be something that you really don't know? But whatever it is, start showing it off. 
start doing it and you know getting people excited i mean when the go kaiju keys came out everybody like flipped out over that when it came to gears we were all talking about it so this is what you want to do you want to start building up the hype build up that hype you know that's oh that's we get that we don't get that much when it comes to power rangers these days god damn it <laughs> End everything on a high. Get everybody talking about it. Get everybody wanting to see more of it. And thus, therefore, you will find out that this, the franchise may start to kind of pick up and, and kind of like flow as normal. And then just don't not mention it. Do not mention any more of it. The current season is airing and we're going through it. But then all of a sudden, you know, because they don't do movies, yeah, again, I think they should do more kind of home movies. Check out that video down below in the comments. But literally right now, you've got the current season airing. Have the new Rangers turn up in their suits. Have it so like, you know, I think, do you remember how it goes with the, the Sentai movies? Like you'll see the Rangers suddenly turn up. They'll show their powers. They'll show their abilities. That's what you want to do. Showcase them. You know, who's that Rangers at? We don't know. We've never seen them before. Have them turn up, blast monsters, whatever. You know, have it link in. Like, my favorite one so far is the Gokaija one, where it's in the uh, Shinkin uh, film or whatever, where you see everyone turn into Red Rangers. You see the fact that they destroy half the monsters that were about to ambush the Rangers. That, to me, got me so hyped up to watch that. And I couldn't wait to see more. So that's what you want to do. Show off the new powers, show off the costumes, and I guarantee everybody on social media that is in the range of fandom people who aren't in the range of fandom will probably be talking about this and that's what you want generate that hype start it off so everyone's like oh my god like quickly going off topic when i saw zeo for the first time i was like oh my god my mind was blown when i was so young i was like oh my god where is this where's that oh my god i need to watch it and I literally loved it. I remember showing it to everyone because I was so hyped up for this one season and I didn't know what it was. That's what you want to generate that hype for. The next stage would be build up a little bit more hype. It's been a while. The current Power Rangers series is now ending and they're moving on. So release one or two short clips, put it on YouTube, put it somewhere around that the community will look for and do it. You know, even if you put it on, say, whatever like, network you've got going at the time, throw in some little shorts randomly a cheeky advert you know no longer than a couple of minutes maybe a minute and long get people again talking about it and then the series drops brand new power rangers beast fury is about to come out and there you go you start running it off you know you start it from say february all the way through you don't have any hiatus get rid of the hiatus get out of here you don't need the hiatus even cinderella says get rid of the <laughs> get rid of the hiatus some good tea yeah get rid of the hiatus and you run one episode per week going for a full season from february to the uh i think let's say the end near the end of january because i think super sentai runs from february to roughly about the first week of february something like that they have one week off for um where it's around about valentine's day i think so do the same power rangers on the network one episode per week and let it all run through if it becomes a time of editing as well as stuff going on get some more people in i know it would cost more money but if you want this uh, brand to succeed again then get more people in editing keep it going keep filming like literally plan this months in advance so that you know that you're going to be up to date with the weekly thing look at how super sentai i'm sure that they finished then kaija or they finished then kaija a while ago or maybe they're still filming it i don't know i actually really don't know on that one but anyway get some more people in start editing getting things done we know there is a time limit when it comes to it and simon bennett has said that it takes quite a while to do it so have this going on constantly you know literally as soon as the episodes air have been shot send it in get it all done get the effects i know it will take a while but if you have things on plan and you start things months in advance you'll be fine you know you have i think maybe a second unit to record all of this so get them to do it until they take over in the main unit this is my favorite part because i absolutely love the fact of what japan or toye did with the adverts where they actually showed it so when something comes along and the toy drops have them do a mini episode or a really cool advert like the the sentai ones where they're showing you the the item you know have it at the very end of the episode as soon as it premieres have it out there move into the, the mini episodes which we saw with two kaiser which we saw with zenkaija with the zords with everything 
throw in that sort of thing and you'll be absolutely fine. I think that would kind of work like 10 times more and actually get more people to talk about it as well as kind of buy the product rather than, I mean, I've not really seen the Power Ranger toy advert for a long time. I don't even know if there's any for Dino Fury. I don't even know if there's any for Beast Morphers. If you know, let me know down below in the comments. And there we go. I think that if you shot it like a season of Super Sentai, I think you would see a lot more of a return in this. I think that you would see a lot more people kind of talking about it, wanting it more, kind of seeing it. And I, f I feel like obviously Super Sentai has got the formula down. And even when you watch a brand new season, it doesn't feel like the previous one. So their formula really works. I believe that we should be seeing a formula as well. We may even see this formula, you know, next year or as soon as the split has gone through completely and they're making their own. I think that's when we will see it. As soon as they start making their own, I feel like that's going to be it. And if we got it on uh, Netflix and it's again a full season of 40 odd episodes straight away, I feel like that would be the way forward. And that's the only thing we can do in uh, until time tells and says, yeah, this is good or this is bad. But kind of closing this off, I do feel like Power Rangers could get back on top of that one. And I don't care if people start saying, right, they're just copying the formula. Who gives a shit? You know, at the end of the day, you want your brand to be good. So copy that formula. You know, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. At least try it and see what it's like. So yeah, I'm gonna leave there. That's pretty much it. I would love to see this all impl implemented, implemented, implemented when it comes to Power Rangers. And I feel like, you know, you've tried one thing for the almost 30 years. Try this one thing and see if it works. It may or may not, who knows. But anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. What are your thoughts on this? Do you think, <laughs> shout me that, what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on this? Do you think this is good? Do you think this is bad? Let me know down below in the comments. And while you're down there, hit like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, and check out the merchandise on the channel. See what you think, because some good stuff there right now. And yeah, pick up something for yourself. And yeah, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for watching. It's been, it's been a really good thing. <laughs> Thank you, Cinderella. Anyway, I'm gonna leave it there. And I'll catch you in the next video. Channel を support してくれてありがとうございます。チャンネル登録、高評価お願いします。以下のリンクから商品を入手することができます。